Hello, we are from the group three. So today we are going to present our summary entitled The Flight by Justin Beck. My name is Timario Liparwati. I am the first presenter. My name is Kadi Indah Gitayani. I am as the second presenter. And I am Nimade Asri Swandesi as the third speaker. So here's our summary. This story tells about the Taurus family who owns a farm that is located at a cliff with an inclined position that drops sharply into the sea. This family consists of five people. The first one, Mama Torres, she is described as a determined and hard worker woman. The second one is the main character, Pip. He is a 19 years old young boy. And in this story, he is described as a very lazy and innocent young boy. The third one, we have Rosie, 14 years old. And the youngest one, we have Amelia, 12 years old. And the last one, we have Mr. Torres. In this story, he described as a dead man, and he, he already passed away long years before the story began. The cause of his death was because he accidentally fell off and got bitten by a rattlesnake. So one day, Mama Torres gives Pip a mission to go, to go down to the town to buy a salt. And this mission makes Pip feels proud of himself and he feels happy because he thinks that he is now becoming a man. So, house, Mr. Rodriguez is the close friend of the family and in this place where the conflict begins because in this place, Pip killed a man and right after killing this man, Pip goes back to his home and to meet his mother. So in front of his mother, Pip confesses that he cannot, he cannot, he, he cannot handle his anger because he feels insulted because of the man. So he threw the knife right into the man and let the knife stabbing that man. So because Mama Torres feels worried about Pip's safety, so she tells Pip that now he must run away. So this, the next presentation will be continued by Indah Gitayani. Okay, thank you for the chance, Julie. I will continue the next story. Then he runs away into the Roxy Moon Inn, leaving his mom who burst into sadness. Pete trusts his horse to guide the path he travels in the mountain. The author described the trail as cleft-like and there is a whistling of an eagle. From this point, he starts to lose his stuff piece by piece. Pepe noticed a rider there, but the driver was so fast and disappeared. That night, Pep stopped and tied up his horse. Pep is being uh, hunted after his horse whinnies and jumps to his feet. Pep realized that his father's hat is missing. When Pep continued his path, his horse got a shoot by a rival owned by an unknown assailant. He fights back with the rival he has yet. Pep also got a shoot on his arms. Since he is tired, badly wounded on his hands, he also drew his coat away. The lack of water and wound on his arms start to kill him slowly. Luckily, he found a dry stream, then drinks a few drops of water before falling as asleep. Okay, the next presentation will be continued by my partner, Asri Swandesi. Time is yours. Okay, thank you for the chance that is given to me. So I will continue the story. but. His bad luck does not stop there. When he wakes up in the afternoon, he finds that a lion is looking at him. Pape stays until the evening there. And shortly after, the lion finally leaves, but another threat comes right after. Pape hears some dogs barking near at him. It seems like the post is looking for his trail. Then... 
with his struggle on his feet, he again hides from them. He falls asleep near the top of Hyde Baron Bridge. Soon after he wakes up, he notices that his rifle is left behind. He came back to the previous, but he can find nothing. He has lost the last inheritance given by his father. And the final event is when Pape hears a familiar sound of the dogs. He's trying to walk forward, but he gets shot twice. First on his feet, and the second bullet goes through his chest. Pape's body was falling forward and toppled over and over again which is making a small avalanche. When the bus stopped his body, the avalanche covered his head. Okay, that's all about our presentation. Thank you.